Hello YouTube, this is LS Kid, and uh, I'm bringing you part 11 of my Medal of Honor Frontline series. And uh, yeah, so I tried recording this one time before, and I got probably about this far into it. Except then my uh, dog started barking like a maniac. So uh, I look out front, and there's like this really fucked up looking ginger woman. And uh... She's like, yeah, vote for Lou Rinaldi. It's, there's uh, provincial votes going on. Uh, I think their voting goes on tonight. So if um, you guys don't know what that is, it's just like uh, here in Canada, we have provinces. And uh, for each province, you get elected or whatever. You elect someone. It's kind of like in the United States where you elect, elect like a governor or whatever. So um, that's what it was. So... Uh, I look out and first of all I just see like this fucking ginger woman so I'm like hiding because I'm just in my fucking boxers um and then after she leaves I go and uh look outside to see if there she put anything and there's like this little thing on our door so uh yeah that, that was my event for the day and um I didn't go to school today as you may have guessed I'm not sure why you would have guessed that or not but uh <laughs> In case you did, I am not feeling the best, and uh, you may be able to tell from my voice, but uh, I've got a bit of a cold. And last night I had the shits. Um, I had the green apple splatters. So, uh, yeah, this level right here, basically, you just need to go through all these like yards and houses, and uh, you need to destroy four kind of checkpoint things, and we've already destroyed one of them. Um... I guess it's like little like bunker things with like great big man machine guns that uh, we need to destroy. So uh, we've already destroyed one and then we need to just basically follow the paths. It's uh, pretty straightforward. I got it down really good my first try. But uh, like I was saying before, like I'm always doing my second tries now. So this is my second attempt. And um, there's a lot of doors in this so uh, it's kind of tricky to get a hold of. But um... And there's a lot of trapdoors, like right here, for example. You uh, really just gotta pay attention and watch out where all of them are. And, um. Up, usually in the upstairs, it's, uh. Somewhere where you'd kill. Like this, for example, this is one of the, um. Checkpoints that you would kill. And, uh. You just need to shoot those red things, and then it'll blow up everybody there. So you don't even have to worry about. Uh. Shooting every single person, which I did the first time around. And, uh. It, it took a lot longer, and I lost a bit of health. So, um, I'd probably suggest doing that. And, uh, you also got to use, like, your silence pistol or your gore or something for the first half of the level. Because, uh, I think it continues on with whatever ammo you have left from the, uh, previous level. And in this case, I didn't have much MP40 ammo left. So, uh, I was trying to conserve that, but you get quite a bit more near the end of it. And, um... So right after this commentary, I'm probably going to go make another walkthrough. And, um... So today, I've basically just been on YouTube watching some walkthrough videos. Uh, in case you guys haven't watched the Dead Island walkthroughs, um, it's a really, really sick game. And, um, the Media Cows, uh, that's the name of the YouTube channel that puts on all those really good walkthrough videos so uh, go ahead and check them out they're a lot better than mine and uh, they use like HD PVR and all that shit so um, they're really good quality videos and um, this right here actually I think is my second shortest walkthrough video and uh, what you want to do right there you don't want to go all the way down to the end of the road because uh, I did that my first time and it was a big mistake because um, the guys on the man machine gun started shooting at me Oh, this is really, really funny right here. They're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? I start shooting at them and all that. Is, oh my god, this is great. Look at the friggin' Nana. Looks like he, she's about to friggin' rip my head off. She actually looked like she was gonna throw her things or whatever she had on her right at me. But, uh, that, that was pretty creepy there my first time through. I, uh, I got a bit creeped out by that. Um, right there, you don't even have to really go into that room. Uh, I didn't really explore it that much. You need to get to all the spots with the man machine guns. So, uh... Yeah, there's a guy trying to get in the door there, but, um... 
he can't get through basically until I uh, shoot this thing and then it opens up the door automatically um, this game like I said like all the levels they're fairly straightforward uh, as long as you basically follow the directions um, and then in this level the second objective uh, you have to like destroy this radio so um, I'm pretty sure that we've destroyed three checkpoints so far I believe but uh I'll talk a bit more about the secondary objective after we get there and uh it's a bit creepy near the end because there's this fucking like great big tank that's about to shoot you and uh there's a shotgun right there so uh now I've got a shotgun and you don't want to come over here like what I did right there you want to go in the first spot right here and go out through and uh there's a great big health pack right there so um you really gotta uh, be careful like where all the health packs are in uh, all the levels because especially if you're playing on like a hard difficulty then um, health is really a big issue and uh, you really want to be conservative about uh, running out and all that shit so um, that's what I've been trying to do in the past two levels I've been trying to uh, kinda play it as if someone that was playing on hard difficulty would play Another thing that really gets me in this, all the civilians uh, that are being like held captive or being questioned, like all this, um, they, whenever uh, you shoot the guy that's around them, they just like walk again. A lot of them they don't even run. Like uh, a really good example is after I come up into the next area, like uh, the guy just seems to like walk when uh, I'm in the middle of a great big gun battle. <laughs> and uh, right there, that's a nice little jump no scope. But um. I think it's after I get out of this house, but uh, it's pretty cool, and um, I don't know if they like meant it to be that, or if they just didn't spend like very much time on like the how these people act, and um, yeah, like I'll talk a bit more about that after I get up there, and uh, there shouldn't be that much more of the video left, I don't think, unless there is something wrong with what I was doing and actually I uh, have to pause the video for about a few seconds but I'll uh, edit that out but uh my mom called me w while I was making this um, so I had to get up and pick up the phone and uh, talk to her she's worried about if I was feeling good or not <laughs> yeah I know it's funny moms and uh there's the last objective right there and now I just I'm on the final stretch and uh, I think it comes right up here where it's got the one guy that just fucking like walks out and then I think I end up uh, shooting right through his head with the gear but uh, it ends up killing the guy in behind him not him um, that's another thing that I really don't like about campaigns how like I guess, you know, in like hardcore mode and shit like that on Call of Duty, how uh, all your friendlies, they can't be killed or anything like that. I find it kind of weird, but um, I prefer it because uh, hardcore, you always lose a lot of experience and shit when you shoot them. Um, actually, I may have already passed the, the spot that I was thinking about. Yeah, I think I did. But um, right here, like, it's just like a person like walking through all of it. That was where I just paused it, but uh... Yeah, you want to look in each one of these yards. I think there's only like a couple of small canteens and a couple of them. The only yard that you really need to go in for the mission is the uh, very last yard on the right, which I go into the wrong one right here. Do not go into this one. Um, I keep on trying to get into the door, but it won't let me. But uh, there is a little medical canteen right there in case you guys are uh, looking for some health. And um, it's actually the next one up. So, uh, that's winding down the level right now, so, um, um, yeah, there's a med pack in here, and there's also the radio right there, which you need to shoot, and that is it, and just follow whatever I do for the rest of this, so I would, uh, like to thank all of my viewers, and, um, I would, uh, bid you good night and farewell until next time, which will most likely be in...